Okay, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later on for our next deck, which is going to be Teamer Gates. It's been over a month since I've played this Teamer Gates deck. Um, my, my version of the deck is different from other versions that you see uh, out there. I built this deck kind of week one of the new format. Um, but I, I still like it. I, I like the cards that I'm playing here. Uh, you know, Shimmer of Possibility and G Gift of Paradise are cards that not many other people play, but I like both of those cards quite a bit. Um, and I'm going, I'm not going with like the uh, Nexus of Fate, trying to take all the turns and stuff like game one. I just got the Gate Colossuses and Gate Breaker Rams. I like that version, just game one, just smashing with these creatures. Um, so yeah, that's what we have. against In our sideboard against Control, we have Niv-Mizzets. Um, we got Mass Manipulation against Sultai, Palaka Worm against Aggro, um, same with Fiery Cannonade, also both those against Aggro, Negates against Control, and then Naturalize against uh, Wilderness Reclamation decks. Um, I like having the Instant Speed answer. Um, I know that there's like Cinder Vines, of course, in the format, which, um, you know, so it's kind of weird playing Naturalize when, when you could just be playing Cinder Vines. But I think I actually kind of like Naturalize more. So the damage that Cinder Vines does isn't usually that great here unless we have Gatebreaker Ram early. But I like just having, being able to have like two mana available for either Grow Spiral or Negate or Naturalize um, all the time. If I have, if I have like Cinder Vines out, then the opponent knows about it. They know like to, to play around it. They know to like destroy it and stuff before they play their Wilderness Reclamation. Instead, I can just like let them play their Wilderness Reclamation and then surprise them with a Naturalize um, to just to blow it up immediately because blowing up uh, Wilderness Reclamation is so important. Um, and so, uh, like that there. Yeah, Broken Bond's another option, but it, again, at sorcery speed, I don't really want it there. Um, oh, Ravager Worms. I could uh, I could see playing some Ravager Worms up in here. You started running one Sylvan Uprising? Oh, like the Sylvan Awakening. I, I think that's what you're talking about. Yeah, Sylvan Awakening. Uh, turn all your lands into tutus kind of thing. Um, yeah, sometimes sometimes you do get a whole lot of lands, and, and it's hard to finish out games. That That's something that um, you do have to worry about, like decking and everything. Hopefully the explosions uh, help us there. So I've got a little bit different take on Teamer Gates. This is certainly a deck that's, um, if you're like you know budget conscious and everything, this is not a, not an expensive deck to make in, in paper. You have Hydro Crisis, which is really expensive, but you do not need to be playing Hydro Crisis, honestly. I think you can just cut the three. Like, I think it's better with Crisis. That's I'm playing it with it. But I think if if you don't want to like you know if you want to build a deck that, like for F and M and you want to make it a lot cheaper, I think you can get rid of the Crisises, play one more expansion. And like maybe put the like the mass manipulations in the main deck or the niv mizzets in the main deck. You can kind of play either of those instead of the crisises. Um, I think you can play like yeah. So that's an option. Um, also, um, but let's give this a try. Temer Gates. No, I don't really do any drafts. Okay, James. Good luck with the um, PC installation. Ooh, we get to play first. That's lucky. I'm only playing 24 lands. Which I know is, is not very many lands. Um, but we had like the Shimmer Possibilities and the and the Grow Spirals, the Guild Summits, of course the Securitas Routes. We have, you know, lots of things of, about gaining lands. But, you know, you need that initial few lands, though. Um, All right, so I'm all getting that first one. Um, I 
So I have nothing to do on turn three right now. Shimmer would be like my turn three play. Um, I think it's okay. Shimmer should like help us find green mana if we need that. Or, um, you know, depending on what we're playing against, like maybe we need to go find another Gates of Blaze or something or, you know. Hey, you're welcome, Lethus. I hope the midterms are going well. I wasn't exactly sure what to take with that shimmer. Ooh, it's a paradise. So it looks like we're playing against a wilderness reclamation deck, most likely. So we'll see how the naturalizes play in the sideboard. We needed, needed one more gate there. I could have blaze and copy it. But I just want to get more and more lands into play. Hey, Tazar. Cool. Glad you're enjoying the Angels deck. So you've been playing the Mardu Angels deck with Direfleet Daredevils. Okay, nice. I don't... I don't really know which one is my favorite and or which one I believe is the most powerful, to be honest. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't have a, a favorite. We could certainly be dead here. I wouldn't be surprised if our opponent could deal all 20 damage to us. Alright, let me start filling out this YouTube video while our opponent's playing here. March 4th already. Yes, he, yeah, Mardu's really good against midrange and aggro, but yeah, you have like a 10% win rate versus Esper. Yeah, nope, that's, no, you're exactly right, Tazar, that's, that's exactly how it is. The Esper Angels is better against control, but worse against aggro, absolutely. No, yeah, yep, that's how, that's how it is. Um... Let's see. So if we bring in like these negates and naturalizes, this is 65 right here. I think I can trim a gift of paradise. 
or maybe all the Gift of Paradises. I don't really love Hydroid Crisis, actually. But this, bringing in the Niv Mizzet, we, that can probably just replace Hydroid Crisis. Um, yeah, our opponent's deck is pretty good. I, I hate it. It's like all the cards I don't like in Standard, basically. I really don't like Wilderness Reclamation. Not a big fan of Niv Mizzet either. Um, or Expansion Explosion. I guess, I guess I'm just not like really a, a blue red mage. I don't really like the these kind of blue red cards. Even though we are playing some in this deck. Hmm. I'm gonna take out one shimmer with us bringing in the other two drops. Basically the same as our very first hand. Alright, we can deal with this. Don't have blue mana yet. We're getting too many of these Plaza of Harmonies. Um, yeah, the white angel, I guess that's, that's a reason to play the Plaza of Harmony over the forest. White Angel's okay. I just don't want to really play like the white mana and everything. I don't want to play the white gates and I like me some Palaka Worm. Really? Come on. Of course I put down put the negate down to the bottom. Yeah, I could have. I could have saved the naturalize for for the most important card, wilderness reclamation. But Sertros Canto is pretty deadly too, so. I can't wait for Wilderness Reclamation to rotate. Unfortunately, it's not going to be for a little while. Good news is they only have one card. With, drawing, with destroying the... Um, Ascanta... Doesn't really matter. Alright, we got the two mana available in case we draw a naturalize or a negate. We did not. Uh, let's get this negate.
for next turn. Hope our opponent whiffs again. Please whiff one more turn. Don't have anything good to do. Just have like a land or something. Uh oh. They're looking at their mana. That's bad. Alright, that's kind of whatever. Really, they just drew Expansion Explosion? Come on. Or Electro Dominance. Sure. It'll be nice to get that thing out of standard. Basically every every card that's caused problems in standard basically ever have been cards that have just allowed you to have just an an, an immense uh, mana um, like the, the they've just allowed you to have like way more mana than the opponent um, advantage that's the word an immense mana advantage over the opponent at a time in the game when you shouldn't. Um, just completely unreasonable amounts of mana. I mean, same thing with, like, Aetherworks Marvel. It's, Aetherworks Marvel is, like, Wilderness Reclamation is just kind of like the new Aetherworks Marvel. Um, how you're able to cast, like, you know, Ulamog and Emrakul on turn four. Just things you shouldn't be able to be doing. Okay. No, but Corn Lover, you're you're correct that the mana system is the core to to magic and mess cards that mess with it are where are where the the problems come from. Nexus wasn't a problem before Wilderness Reclamation. I'm playing Nexus like how I have it like in that Esper control deck, um, where you really have to work for it. It's it's really not that bad. It's just when you get it, you know, when you have like a card like Wilderness Reclamation, it just Makes it so you don't have to work for it at all. No, there's been... No, Wilderness Reclamation is not banned. I don't expect it to be banned, but... I wish it was. I was like that was like the whole problem with Teferi too is like the the man advantage that Teferi gives you of untapping all the lands and everything. I don't have the ability to cast Gift of Paradise and and a Ram. So let's just play the Ram. Hopefully, we draw a, land, uh, a gate here where the all these gate classes will cost two mana. The next turn, we can Gift and. Um, at least gift and play one gate, Colossus. I guess, I guess even if we draw another gate, we're not going to be able to gift plus double Colossus. That was the one card I couldn't really afford our opponent to have. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, that's lethal. I 
Well, there's still explosion with there's still explosion and electro dominance. I don't I don't think Will in this reclamation is just getting better after rotation. As we saw from our opponent's side, they're not playing like they had a, as Kanta, but like you know, like that teamer deck, they still get Niv Miz. They like it, most of that deck's not rotating. What our opponent was just doing there with Wilderness Reclamation. All right, Kinnanade, Plockworm. I think Explosion is out of here. I do like to cop. I do like expansioning a circuitous route, but you know that's just not very likely to happen. Uh, Guild Summit's not necessarily the best. You know, like taking the time for drawing the cards with Guild Summit. You don't don't always have the time there. I'm gonna trim a couple of Guild Summits, and let's go with this. All right, down a game. All right, this is certainly better than what we had last time. And we're on the play. That's better also. So what do I want my turn three to be? I'm thinking Ram on turn three. I could see this as like a, a good opportunity just to get the guild summon in play though. Um, but I'm gonna play Ram. They kind of seem like they may have like negate in their blue white deck. Those decks usually play negate. Hmm. Do I want to ablaze that thing? I'll wait on a blaze. annoying. My poor Ram. Lizard Blaze is not getting it back now. Hopefully they don't have more removal spells. Hey Zerf, doing okay. Doing okay, our, our Gates deck is kind of getting beat up here. Please don't have Tribunal also. Okay, good. No tribunal. Whoa. Opponent. I think they were supposed to sacrifice their bodyguard to protect their deputy detention and also pay for life with the Dante Vanguard, but they're in a rough spot anyway there. Yeah, we'll we'll see, Matthew. I I do think you just have too many. I think you have, you have too many quasi duplicates and non creatures. 
Like you, you don't have enough creatures with with to really to to be playing the quasi duplicates, honestly. Hmm. This hand has. If we draw a gate. This hand can be pretty good. The plaza is nice. Routing into Palaka Worm is nice. Our opponent kept their hand very quickly. I probably need a mulligan. The the Colossus and the Guild Summit are ba like basically don't do anything. Well, I'd rather just have the seven than this four. So much for this game. Uh, an opponent with the insta keep seven, <laughs> you know, makes it pretty rough for this for for us here. It's really bad about activating their Odonto Vanguard. They're really bad about that. Assume they have enchantment removal, how they're just sitting there not doing anything. They probably have like deputy detentions, conclave tribunal, stuff like that in their hand. Maybe they think the four life's not worth it. <laughs> yep, there's an enchantment removal spell. Let me get the Mono White Angels thumbnail. We're only taking one. We're not in the worst spot. Help me out, Shimmer. Find a land. Take any gate. Alright, got a couple gates. We'll take the... Definitely need a green one, but they're both green. Um, I don't think two red or... I guess the third red, third blue. It just doesn't really matter. I guess, so I'll just take this one. And then we get to...
get to secure this route the next turn. this up. Plaza Harmony is nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. That was a really good draw. Yeah, that was a really good draw for us. Let's just draw three cards. Gains the three life. Alright, almost done with this. Sorry, I'll be back in the chat here in just a second. Not surprising that our Krasis met a baffling end. Yeah, it was really nice of our opponent just to play everything out for that Gates of Blaze. That was really nice of them. I can't believe that we are probably going to win this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I can craze this for 8, or I can just like guild summit for like a ton. Um... I think I might as well just guild summit for a ton. Oh yeah, I would be very dead if our if our opponent just kept their Yeah, if our opponent kept their Adanto Vanguard alive, I'd be very dead. Absolutely. Hey Dirk. Those things. Let's go get some more gates. Oh, I should have played the Gruel Gill gate. Well, let's just play this also. Let's just get some more gates. I guess I don't have the extra mana for Gateway Plaza. Those are the only lands left. This Krasis is going to be really big. Stop. Um... I don't know how big these gate Gatebreaker Rams are going to be, but... Probably really big.
That unfortunately will kill my two Colossuses. Well, I did not expect to win that after we multi four and had that, that you know, four card hand that we had. Um, but our opponent not paying the four life for a Danto Vanguard. Um, and yeah, that's uh, that's a wrap. And then they also like, you know, just really overextended into that other Gates of Blaze. Helped us out quite a bit. So we don't get to do anything turn one or turn two. Um, you know, the, these gateway plazas. But we do have five co two five color lands. The gates mirror. No. Uh, Forerunner of the Coalition, do not like that card, no. Um, more mana. I just want to grow spiral this turn. I'm seeing if we draw like another gate. Okay, it's not another gate. Like where I wouldn't have to gate gateway plaza. Are you like I wouldn't have to pay the one for the gateway plaza? That's what I was seeing if we drew like another land and we would be able to cast the Shimmer. Um, but no, we had to pay the one for the Gateway Plaza, so we didn't get to Shimmer. Oh. That's a good card. I like that card. I wish I had that card. Not the best choices there. <laughs> Fit a couple of Rowls in the main deck. You could play Rowl instead of Hydroid Crisis if you want. Um, that's an option. Uh, opponent's pretty far ahead because they have the circuitous routes. Oh man, and they get to copy it. Yeah, they're looking great. I can draw four with a guild summit here. There's a Securitas route. That's good news. So they are the combo gates deck with the nexuses and everything. They haven't found a wilderness reclamation or a guild summit yet, which is good for us. Either of those cards and we're going to be in pretty big trouble.
Um, let's circuitous route and copy it and copy it. No, I probably want the other one for explosion. I'm going to sit back and hold the expansion up for the growth spiral. We'll see if they have a bunch of nexuses. They can, you know, they can kill us here. So we'll see if they do. Didn't find a gate to blaze. Just kind of hoping to draw to be able to kill the Krasis with those routes. Thanks, Derek. Thanks, Dutch. Yeah, having a good afternoon so far. We are losing to a bunch of reclamation decks, though, so it could be better. Um, not so bad. So our opponent's at 26 cards in library. It's a little ways away from us casting Explosion and milling our opponent out. We'll see if they have another... Does not look like they have another Nexus. That's good. Cannot expansion the Nexus. Expansion can only target things that cost four or less. It would be pretty broken if you could expansion Nexus. How many gates do I have in play? Do have enough. Seventeen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. There's four gates of blaze in here somewhere. I mean, I, I can explosion and kill the Krasis. Um, which I guess I get an explosion also even after casting the Shimmer for enough, but it would cause me to draw just a ton of cards, because I don't want to give my opponent that many cards, of course. I don't really want to draw eight cards right now. Let's Shimmer and, yeah, let's, let's Shimmer first, see if we find a Gates of Blaze. I wouldn't really mind finding my own crisis either. Well, I guess that's what we find. So I can crisis for 3, 6, 8, 10, 11. Or I can do 8 and play a ram. I mean, if they have explosion, I'm dead. Anyway, so I guess I don't need to worry about explosion.
Because if they just have explosion, they can just they can do 14 to me. Or 15. They can do enough to kill me. I didn't need to play my land first, though. I think... Did I already play land? Yeah, I already played a land. I guess I didn't need to play my land, because I could have waited to try to get this, this Plaza Harmony. I played the basic. So I, I guess I could be at 17 if I would have waited on the land drop. I don't know if 17 makes a big difference. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, yeah, they're looking at deal being able to deal 16. No, we're not playing Nexus. Alright, let's get these Gate Colossuses back. Thanks, Dutch. Maybe you need to play the ram. They're at 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. They're at 16. I'm at 4, 5, 6, 10, 13. So it's a 15, 15. Um... I guess just why not? You know, they're probably gonna blaze, but we can just get our Colossuses back. Hey, Primo. Smug, welcome to the stream. Thanks for that sub there, Smug. I do appreciate that. Alright, I was expecting like our opponents to do something. They just kind of didn't do anything. Alright, so naturalize, negates, manipulation... Is probably pretty good. I think I like manipulation more than a blaze. Um, a blaze is just not. Uh, yeah, I, I think our opponent could could certainly be boarding in gatebreaker rams here. I want to be able to manipulation, be able to take them. So we're at sixty five. That's not good. Gift to paradise. Three life doesn't really matter. Can matter a little bit, but not a whole lot. 
Yeah, this art on Gates of Blaze is really sweet, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good. Then maybe Krasis? Let's take out one Shimmer and one Krasis. What do we got? No blue mana. And all sorts of blue cards. I mean, I kind of want to keep. And just trust in the deck to get us some blue mana. How much blue mana are we playing in here? Four. Eight. Twelve. Thirteen. Okay, that's not very much. Hey, guest with the donation. Hey, Tommy again. Black and white vampire deck would be a sight to see. Time period three on a Tuesday, Thursday. Tuesday, Thursday, or Friday would be nice. All right, well, the first one of those is tomorrow, Tuesday. So time time period three with just um, with just a vampire deck. Cool. I can make a vampire deck. So black white vampire. Alright, so black white vampire, third tomorrow. I can do that. Thanks, guest. Thanks for the, the deck donation there. And told y'all they'd be they'd be all about the Rams after sideboarding. <laughs> Please no, no, not that card. Uh, that makes their Rams six sixes. That's what I was saying. That's what I was going to say is no Securitas route. <clears throat> I was thinking of the card name before they played it. Alright, so they just draw a gate. I'm dead. Um, I feel like I need to keep this negate up for another Securitas route, though, unfortunately. Instead of playing the Guild Summit. That card definitely just gets him a gate. Looking at the top four. Alright, can we draw a creature here? Hmm. We did, but they had another ram. Well, our mold of five came. I don't know. Like, we weren't like out of it or anything with our mold of five. I still don't like Gate to Blaze. I don't think we can really rely on it, but I, I do like the manipulation. I'm glad I bored that in. We're on the play, um, and hopefully we'll have seven cards. Probably won't get ran over as much as we did that last game.
Hopefully we have seven cards, right, deck? Keepable hand? Alright, keepable hand. It's unfortunately a little slow with just triple gate, but that's okay. We'll see if we draw an untapped land for turn three. Yeah, we got rammed over there. Hey, Hawkeye, that's you. Those are your emotes there in the channel. Okay. Not a not an untapped land, but a good card. I thought that was going to make it difficult for our opponent to... Hmm. I thought that was going to make it difficult for our opponent to um, be able to have, like, the, the, th the turn three have the untapped mana by negating their growth spiral. So I really want a circuitous route here. I don't really want my opponent to ex expansion my circuitous route and or negate my circuitous route. Hmm. You think Ram? Go to the guild summit. I feel like Circuitous Route could be better than um, any of the other cards in my hand. Hope they don't have their own circuitous route. Come on. Oh, do they have expansion also? Okay, thank you. Glad they don't. It's not the worst turn. It's not too bad of a turn. Gate Colossus is pretty sweet. What is that, Hawkeye? An update's available. We need to restart Arena. Not sure what that's a boot. Alright, so they... Ooh, only drawing one card? That's why. They have a route.
So I think our, our plan is just to attack them with all of these. Uh, they block with the ram. We explosion the ram. Or we can just... Trade with the ram with for one of them. Why would our opponent want to make that trade? It does not seem like a very good trade for them. Um... Are they a blazing? So three, four, five, six, seven. They can only ablaze for seven. Right now, so even if they draw a land, they can they can ablaze for eight. Oh, I guess I guess I thought my ram was gonna be bigger than eight. I thought it was gonna be nine. I guess, I, I miscounted it. The ram. The ram has vigilance. I couldn't just attack through the ram. If like if I don't block, the ram has vigilance. They they still have their ram on defense. Let's get these plazas out of here. Uh, they they could still have could still have gates ablaze gates ablaze deals nine right now but I don't think they've played a land yet I don't think no, so they play a land make a ten and now ablaze can keep them alive. That's not in a blaze. That's good. Now they don't have the mana for a blaze anymore. All right, Colossuses, take it down. All right, two and one. I'm not sure what that that update thing was saying. Well, I think there was that update message there, but looks like Arena's still working and everything, so I don't think we necessarily have to go ahead and go update. So let's just kind of continue on. All right, two and one. Yeah, we can try this. Oh, y'all are getting the update right now? They added a new sealed game mode. So I can just kill that with a blaze right now. Or I can start doing like these other things. I think I want to just kill that thing. That thing can get pretty nasty. I may regret not having that ablaze later, but that should should slow our down or sorry, should slow our opponent down quite a bit. <laughs> Bolt the bird, more like blaze the goblin.
They just use two shocks. Um, so not it's not out of the question that they can't kill this Gatebreaker Ram now that they've used two shocks from their hand. We just gained six life with the Plaza and Gift of Paradise, which is good, but I don't have any more life gain to go. Uh, you know, maybe these Grow Spirals can uh, hit a bunch of gates and make this Ram really big this next turn um, and draw some cards. Okay, okay. Let's play this card first. Ooh, I like this one. Yeah, I like this one. Seeing some of the strength of... of Shimmer of Possibilities there, going and finding... It. Our best car that we could find, circuitous route. Mm -hmm. right. No, my ram. But my ram. No, that's, yeah, I need to do the Biomancer Familiar deck from Sway. Uh, he was talking about that earlier. I need to make that deck. Um, I haven't made it yet. I forgot about it. Um, yeah, so I, I need to make that deck. I, I forgot about that one earlier. Yeah, I know the ram can't block my gate colossus, but I I just want to kill like I'm at 10. I want to kill that ram and phoenix and go get those things out of here. I don't want to just be taking 10 there. Or sorry, taking 5. I want to yeah, I just want to use my sweeper. Um Can I still explosion and kill them? I can't. I guess I don't have lethal with explosion if I if I cast this Gates of Blaze. Just in case they had like a counter spell. Um, Niv Niv it's got to be great. Yeah, because even in case they had a counter spell, we had the expansion to be able to recounter or uh, recast our ablaze or whatever. Um. I don't know if this is a mass manipulation matchup. I guess maybe it is. They're going to, like, are they going to be bringing in, like, their Rowl and their niv -Mizzet and things like that? And I don't know what I'm cutting. I like Gates of Blaze still. I, I like all... 64 of these. I 
I don't know what to cut. I mean, Gift of Paradise and Hydroid Crisis, I guess, are, are weaker cards. Maybe Guild Summit. May not have, like, time for Guild Summits. I don't think I want to take out any of my twos. I'm going to take out one Crisis, one Gift, and two Summit. I don't know. Yeah, like, what to take out there is kind of tough. If Blocka Worm actually blocked stuff, like if it had reach, I would be bringing it in. But it doesn't have reach and doesn't block stuff, so. <laughs> Just keep it 64. Meow. Here, come here. Here, buddy. All right, waiting on the opponent. Got two five wins with your Nia Legends deck today. Hey, that's awesome, Noxie. Good job. Okay. Well, we got a little bit here while we're waiting on our opponent. Want to remind you all about Quip. We got the Quip campaign going right now. Hoping that y'all sign up for Quip. Uh, very awesome electric toothbrush. Really recommend it. Best to best toothbrush I've ever used. Um, signing up also. Uh, if you go, go through my link um, to sign up, get a cool notification here on stream. Um, you get your first refill free. And whoa, Punk Boy RD. That was really fast. Um, Quip does ship worldwide. F ships free worldwide. Uh, and also you get to support the stream as much as subscribing for a year. So if you if you sign up for Quip, um, I'm adding in a free donation deck. So yeah, you're already checking it out? Cool. Well, Punk Boy RD, you you can if you have a donation deck you ever want me to play, let me know. That's that's what you get for signing up with Quip. You are the fifth person to sign up. For it. I think I want to be able to start casting rams next turn. So I'm just going to... I know I could like shimmer there. Um, I think I'm going to take that turn off. No, the badge is a tie. It's a tie badge. They have both a plastic and a metal toothbrush. Hmm. This is kind of bad against Lava Coil. I guess it's bad against Lava Coil. Oh well. They're playing Lava Coral next turn, they're not playing anything that kills me. <laughs> Metal brush your teeth. I'm getting real punished for not casting the shimmer on turn turn two. What they just do there? Oh, they did the radical idea. All right, there's a coil. We'll see if they have. 
One mana spell, they do. I don't have good options here. Um, I mean, I can survive a turn by casting Gift or Gates of Blaze, but I'm not surviving the next turn against this Crackling Drake at all. I need to cast that Shimmer on turn two and look for a land. Blaze next turn can't kill the... We do not have the, a way for the Blaze next turn to kill the... The X4. Alright, so lesson learned. Should have just played Shimmer on turn two and looked for a land. Um, and then, which would have meant I would not have been able to play the Ram on turn three necessarily. Uh, but I would have had to take like the turn three off, but at least we would have been closer to hitting more land drops. Yeah, it was, was a little unlucky not drawing the lands, but... Oh, well, all right. So this game, we're going to be a little behind because, you know, we have all tap lands. But, you know, thankfully we're on the play. Um, oh, that's a good that's a good card to draw. That's an untapped land. So I can either kind of choose of, like, play the ram next turn or play another tap land and go for route the turn after. I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to have Route on turn four. If I just play the Ram next turn, it's, you know, it's a 4-4. Four, four. It gets Lava Coiled. Um, so, yeah, let's just let's just take another turn off doing this and then start routing because uh, Route's so powerful. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. Make sure Ram's out of coil range and be able to get to this Colossus faster. Remember, if you are signing up for Quip, you have to use my referral link. Um, and also, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, you can find my re referral link down in the uh, video description, down at the bottom. I have my sponsor links there. Of Quip, we have uh, Ting Mobile, if you, uh, if you want to sign up for Ting Mobile, and also Spreza Box, if you want to be wearing like the same kind of ties I do. This is Spreza Box tie. <laughs> hey Tiki Jiki, sorry, didn't tell you. Yeah, haven't played Gates in a minute. Hmm. Our opponent's just chilling within the gate. Play the ramp. What do you play over Archway Angel? Um, I don't know, is Archway Angel a main deck card? I don't really have anything in that, like in the, the main slot. I don't know, you can hit. You can hit X H point deck and check out the deck list. Um, same, same, like, this is the same list I was playing, like, week one. Um. Alright, finally got them to tap out and not, to not be able to counter my circuitous routes. Oh, dang. 
I have four gates. That's the right number of gates to have. I really do think our opponent had counter magic. Yeah, I think Clarion is the real pull to, to playing a, the white color. I've never liked Archway Angel. That's always been my, my stance on the card. I've never liked it. I have some Palaka Worms in the board. I play against aggro. And Fiery Cannonade. Cannonade's not as good as Clarion, but you don't have to play white mana. You don't have to have white mana in your deck. Alright, I'm getting one plaza, because it's going to come into play. Um, tapped, and we'll just use this land here. Alright, hopefully the opponent can't kill us. Oh, well, I didn't have the mana to cast Mass Manipulation. Cost six mana. I only had five. Okay, at least we don't have to worry about a counterspell now. And plus, whenever when you take mass manipulation, the creature doesn't untap, so it's still like the creature would still be tapped. Yeah, I could gate to blaze and win, or manipulation and win. Could win either way. I went for the manipulation, taking that crackling Drake. All right, three one. Uh, why don't I like Archway Angel? Because I don't like the a six mana three four. I don't like that three four body. Um, it's basically just like I, I just don't feel like that three four body does nearly enough. You know, it's basically just like six mana gain a lot of life. And I just don't think that's that good of a card. Hey, Madman. Cool, yeah, that Smothering Powers deck. <laughs> yeah, dude, that, that match against Saffron, I... I... I got outclassed. I did not really realize what was going on at all there. <laughs> but yeah, welcome to the stream, Madman. You can also find us playing... A lot of weird decks over here as well. Uh, Alright, so we have the Shimmer Possibility. Uh, it's a good turn to play. <laughs> Hawkeye, this is a cat. This isn't a dog. Um, kind of want to find Gates Ablaze, and I guess I'm just taking another on tap land here. We can have Guild Summit on turn three, Circuitous Route on turn four. Uh, so you're worried about too much. Vivian would be annoying. Worried about all the aggro decks. Can't you just play Palaka Worm? Like, I feel like Palaka Worm is just a better card than, than the Archway Angel. 
because it ends the game really quickly against Mono Red, and it gains seven life, and it's a seven seven. Like, it's like Falaka Worm a lot more. Ow. If you want something against Aggro. Man, Gates of Blaze would be so nice to draw. Deck. Hint. Hint. Hint deck. Hint. They're, they're sitting at four mana. They got a lot of mana. They're doing okay. Um, let's see if we find this a blaze. No blaze yet. Gates of Blaze somewhere. Babalu getting that tier one sub in yet again. Like our opponent keeps on attacking with the with this incubation druid just so they get more of like the more hits in, more of like the action sound. Um Do I want to just play a big Krasis? And Krasis for five. If I guild summit, I can only Krasis for two. It's probably fine. Get another guild summit on the battlefield, though. So now they're at six mana. They can finally play Vivian. Vivian can minus and destroy anything. Let's tear this place apart. That can't help you now. Feel like there's a Gates of Blaze in here somewhere. Colossus cost two. Okay, hey, Dutch. No problem. Come to me. I don't really want to see, you know, like hostage takers. Yeah. Seen half the deck already. We know we know the bottom three cards are not a blaze, so I guess so we've seen twenty seven cards and not a single ablaze yet. But we can't complain too much. We have a really big man advantage and and that's the thing, is like we have two guild summits out, so like every turn we're drawing, you know, a bunch of cards. And if we ever do find that uh, that gates of blaze, the game kinda ends. Dante West. Welcome to the channel. 
Thanks for getting that Twitch Prime sub up in here. Sub number eight on the day. There it is. Again, all right, kill all those things. Let's put a gift of paradise on something. This it doesn't really matter. Put it over on this thing, and then we'll grow spiral. Play this gate. There we go. Yeah, surprised our opponent didn't block there. Pretty surprised there. Alright, so we got the mass manipulations for this matchup. Um, expansion explosion's not as good, I don't think. I think I'd rather just have manipulation than explosion. I think that's about all I got. We'll see what happens here. Hopefully it's good enough. We'll kind of see. Our creatures aren't as good. Yeah, opponent's going to have negates. Yep, they'll have duress and negate and stuff like that. Yep. Um... I mean, I could just kind of take out creatures, because the creatures aren't as good for us. Alright, two nails. Take See you later. <laughs> I, I, I doubt it'll be final bosses only day today. Um, yesterday we came close to that. Three of our five, three of the four decks faced the final boss. But... Like expansion for double blazon. I could see that. Hey, Raph. Sure. I I don't know how many shirts I own. Or I own a good amount. I, I don't know how many. Yeah, Mortal Sun could be a decent si sideboard option. Now I wish I would have taken the Krasis. It costs six mana for just the first thing. I'm so far away from six mana. I'll take the ram. Get on in there. No hostage taker or chupacabra or nothing like that, please. I 
I have to make sure, like, how I tap next turn, um, if I shimmer, if I, I need to make sure not to tap the Izzet Gill Gate, uh, because we may find Gates Ablaze from the Shimmer. Um, in which case I'll need that red mana that, you know, then I'll play, like, Island, and I don't want to just play Island first, because I want to be able to play a Gate, if possible. I guess I could just play the Colossus here, instead of Shimmer. Could just play Gilgate plus Colossus. That's probably pretty good. Honestly. Kill the Colossus. To lose to you. This is nothing. That's okay. Ram should be able to just take take out Vivian now. That's a win for us. I don't know. I'm not putting the, the Colossus back um, on top. Banefire is not that good of a card. It's only good, like, you know, really late game when you have, like, a whole lot of mana. It's not, like, a card that you want to draw in your, like, fi first 15 cards. I think Explosion is just a, a better card. It's more versatile. I have Niv Mizzet. I have Niv Mizzet as like my anti counter card. I think Niv Mizzet's a better card there. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, four and five. No difference in like how many life we're gaining or cards we're drawing. So I'll just make it four so we get another gate in so the ram hits harder. There we go. Good job, Ram. But I never had an answer to the Ram. They might have been sitting with like a bunch of negates in their hand. We just were never playing spells. All right, four and one. Well, I don't think our opponent was going to play Finality because Finality would kill all their creatures. They didn't. All their creatures are X twos. Here we go. On to the final boss. Can we pick up another five win set? I will keep this hand. Gaffer with a tier one sub. Welcome to the channel, Gaffer. I appreciate that. That's sub number nine on the day. Hey, 
Streak Almighty with their reset for the third month just in time for the final boss. Welcome back, Streak Almighty. Alright, sub number 10 means that we will crack a pack. As long as I remember. <laughs> we'll be cracking a pack after this. 10 out of 15. Alright, one guild summit gone. Um, now we can get the other one to resolve. Doesn't doesn't help too much unless we draw gates though. I know my responsibility. Not so fast. Getting all the cards. So much card draw. Yeah, Guild Summit. Yep, Guild Summit's a de definitely a, a really good card for the control decks to counter. Keep up the pace. Yeah, nobody expects the third summit. Our opponent will not be able to keep up the pace with all the card will be drawn with all these summits. Pretty soon. Um I want to be able to double spell with like important spells. Like maybe like play Guild Summit, they counter it, then resolve Circuitous Route. We need to move quickly. Yeah, you know, them having Ascanta immediately and Teferi also. It's like you know this is how they can win. Yeah, and us having the two dead cards. It's rough as well. So, I don't think this game looks very good for us, honestly. That's what I'm saying. Let's skip to the good part. But yeah, that's true. Expansion can counter a counter. Yeah, this is part of our part of our final boss playlist. Yeah, Banefire is good against Esper. This is like the the one matchup where it's really good. I don't really want it against anything else, but this is the matchup where it can do its thing. But we, we do have to worry about getting milled out. That's where our struggle is going to be. Oh, never mind. Don't have to worry nearly as much. Yeah, we got all damn guild summits. Oh, 
Oh no. You know what? I'm not done yet. That's really bad. How much do you cost? One. Uh, do you have any... All right, so as a Selesnya player, do you have any tips against guild gates? I've always struggled against them. Get that Teferi out of here. I really should have seen that coming. Yeah, you should have seen that coming. Um, I mean, I guess it, it's the whatever. Uh, um, you know, the the specific kind of deck that you're playing. You know, does kind of help you there. Um, like a, usually being pretty aggressive is good. Um, like a Danto Vanguard, Planeswalkers are, are awesome. Like a Johnny, Vivian, Planeswalkers are great. Opponents played two Kaya's Wraths so far. <laughs> Thanks, Dabby. Had their long day of work. Yeah, I'm glad to have you here. Ooh. So they could have activated Ascanta before. And absorbed. Hmm. All right, let's get this gate colossus back. And that's going to eat the absorb, I, I assume. I still don't think we're doing that great. That did not eat the absorb. No, no Nezahals in the deck. I have... Um, I have Niv-Mizzet in, si in the sideboard. So it's the thing. Our matchup's a lot better after sideboard, just because we get, you know, four negate and the niv mizzets help out quite a bit. Um, and you know, like basically we get to trade out gates of blaze for negates. It's a really big upgrade. They only have one Kaya's Wrath left. Already cast three. If you show remorse, 
I'll show restraint. You need to take a time out. This is hardly my Gay Colossus defeat. is like, hey. Don't do that to my my friend, the Gatebreaker Ram. And also these Gift of Paradises. We don't we don't need these Gift of Paradises in this matchup at all. We get to take those out also. Like you know, so turning these into negates and turning these gifts into nevmezits. Pretty big upgrades. I'll save these gates in my hand in case, like, you know, they, they kill our gate colossus so we can get it back kind of thing. Yeah, uh, Memorial to War, Crucible. Uh, the best land destruction spell is Haphazard Bombardment. That's the best one. Um, six mana enchantment that can destroy some lands. They scried. Went all to the bottom. All three to the bottom. Yeah, I guess some, some S Earth players will only play three Kaiserats. I think four is probably normal. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Madman. That's unfortunate. You don't get Deckmaster on your older iPad. Yeah, we went. We were zero and one. Um, and and game in the second match, we were one and one. And then game three against Mono White. Game three, we mold to four. Game three, so it looked like we were going to be zero and two and out of it. Uh, but we won on our mold to four, uh, mostly because our opponent played pretty poorly. Uh, like. You know, for example, we cast Gates of Blaze on turn three, and they had a Danto Vanguard, and they let it die. Or if they would have saved their Vanguard, we would have died. No, I do not track my win rate overall, no. A little punished for not playing these lands earlier. We don't get to deal more, gain or gain more. May have just made us mill out first. Yeah, jokes on you, opponent. We have nothing good over here. This isn't a fight. Hold that thought. We did really good with the Grixis control from a few days ago. Yeah, the Grixis discard. Yeah, we did real good with it. It felt really good. I liked it quite a bit. I don't think I, I have a way to win anymore. Let's see, I have one Krasis, one Colossus, and two Rams. Okay, I have two Colossus. Okay, we have we have a few cards, I guess.
I need to stop playing these gates. Though. I shouldn't play those gates because of Colossus. Oh yeah, our opponent likely has answers for our cards. Thankfully, we have nothing else for our opponent to negate. So that, that negate's not going to do very much. At their third contempt. Yeah. We need to move quickly. Okay, let's go to the next game. And let's re replace a blaze with negate. Take out these gift of paradises also. Um, get these niv mizzets in there. I guess manipulation on a planeswalker is not so bad. Naturalize can hit Sertra's Kanta, which, is, which would be a really good target, but not really much else. I think we'll just do that. We'll do like one manipulation. Take that to fairy. Let's try that. Um, well, I, w I was going to mill out. But yeah, Teferi, Teferi was a good enough win condition. Esper players usually play a Chromium. Um, yeah, they could have Thief of Sanity. I would pretty much expect them to have Thief of Sandy. Thief of Sandy is good in this matchup. But I'm just going to kind of hope they don't draw it. Kind of thing. I don't really feel like... Having... Cards that are dead against 56 of their cards. But okay against Thief of Sanity in my deck. Yeah, exclamation point deck list. Or just exclamation point deck. I can see the, the deck list right there. Um, question is, what would it cost to get started on this and buy a decent deck? Uh, so I think you're talking about like Arena. Um, Arena's free to play. If you want like a, a tier one standard deck immediately, um, the price that a lot of people say to build a, a tier one deck is... Um, usually like a hundred dollars for like a, a regular deck there are are cheaper decks if you want like a if you want you know like a, a cheaper option um but it's it's really hard to say because arena you can't just like buy cards you have to buy packs that get you wild cards and stuff like that it's it's a little bit of a weird economy but it's it's hard to have like price it's hard to say like specific price points for decks in arena. Yeah, I still have that list, Matthew Ori. I'm gonna have to change that list quite a bit, I think. I don't I don't like a lot of the cards. Or not a lot of the cards, some of the cards. All right, mountain's pretty good. Yeah, so 50 to 100 bucks is a pretty good estimate, yeah. So we'll make sure we can play niv it next turn. Yeah, our, our opponent did have Thief, and, you know, it's killing us with the Thief. I was, you know, certainly hoping that they did not have Thief. Um, you know, that's what I was, that was the game I was playing, was the 
the dodge game. I was hoping to dodge turn three Thief of Sanity, but nope, did not. We had the turn two Thought Erasure, turn three Thief of Sanity. Pretty strong. Hopefully Niv-Mizzet can take over for us. Hopefully they cannot kill Niv-Mizzet here before the Eldest Reborn trigger. If they have Mortify, they can. Mortify is like the, the biggest thing I'm scared of. The, the, you know, like they Mortify the Niv-Mizzet and then get that back. Because besides that, there's... Oh, I, oh, that's right. They have the Teferi to get back. Sorry, I'm late. So I guess there is something pretty decent to get back. I'm not ready for this quite yet. Well, we have another Niv, though. Oh, wait, but they get they get this Niv now, because they tuck it, and then they get it with Thief of Sanity. So that's annoying. But it's really not that bad for us. They're going to go down to... They go down to one. Or they they chump block in. Kind of unfortunate for us that they chump locked. Now, like a Kai's wrath. No time for a break. Would be real good. Because before Kai's wrath would have killed them, you know, at one. I was, I was hoping they were going to go down to one. In case they have, you know, a Mortify or a Contempt, something like that, we get to just kill the Thief of Sanity so they don't get to hit us with the Thief. Yeah, you can certainly use Sinister Sabotage instead of Absorb, absolutely. Yeah, if you don't don't have the absorbs, yep, you're good to go there. Um All right. Do I still want to be on the mass manipulation plan on the draw? Thief of Sanity on the play is a little more worrisome. Hmm. I'm running back. Again, hope for not turn three Thief of Sanity. Sounds pretty good. I like having the Growth Spiral on turn two. Next turn I can have like a guild summit plus a negate. 
Ooh. Or I just hold up negate again and wait for Niv Mizzet next turn. Hold well, up negate because it's a fairy. Could be the card here. Love it. All right, so basically, how how should I be thinking about Eldest Reborn? Like, should I be slamming down this Niv Mizzet in case of an Eldest Reborn kind of thing? Or I could just get like Guild Summit and Ram both of these into play. If I do both of these, I'm not drawing any cards right now. But, uh, oh well. I couldn't do Colossus and Ram. Colossus and Ram cost seven mana. I only have six. Please don't Elvis reborn me. Come on. Card to draw. They could, you know, like they'll, they'll certainly, or they'll, not certainly, but they'll probably have a counter spell for the mass manipulation. I hope not. They can get Teferi or Niv, you know, probably Teferi at this point. Let's slow this down. I would like to be able to take their Teferi. Hope, hope they don't have the counter spell for it. Time but we'll see. More malleable than people oh, think. man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Man, one mana off. They were to just play the, the safe game, honestly. We will meet again. Hmm. Um, they're gonna have to like, like on their turn explosion for two. The two would be to kill the thief. They're going to chump block Colossus with Niv. But that's okay. The Colossus is still 
and doing its thing. I'm saying they're gonna chump block with Niv. Oh, they took something over Niv. That's not the other Niv, right? No. What the hell they take instead of Niv? In my deck. Explosion? Krasis? Krasis. They could have. Krasis. Silly gates. Having to be tap lands. If we had an untapped land, we'd be able to steal the crisis and have a gate. See how many counters they have. Whoa. I don't want that to resolve. Dang it. I don't want that to resolve. Now they gain enough life to stay alive with the Colossus. I should not have clicked that resolve all thing. So now I, I can't really expansion that. I can, I mean, I can copy that to counter the thief or to kill the thief. I know I could explosion the thief and that taps me out. I want to be able to play the guild summit as well. Oh, really, deck? Never mind. Not drawing a card with the guild summit. Ugh. Frustrating. Thing is, though, if, if they are out of counters now, we're still okay. If they're out of counters, we get to, you know, manipulate this thing. Yeah, a lot of things I didn't want to happen happened there. I think that's a good enough card to counter. They got another counter spell. So now maybe next turn they're out of counters. It's just gone horrible for us. Bleh. 
I am not. You know what? I'm not done yet. We need another mass manipulation. I think. Oh, I guess I only have the one in the deck, though. Why? Did, I didn't want to actually do that. But I, I don't have any answers left, though. They they already got rid of both my Niv Mizzets and everything. I'm just dead. Well, I played that game pretty poorly, but I I don't know if we were winning it. Even if we would have... Like, they had enough counter spells and everything. I don't think we actually were winning that game. Even if it was... Um, even if we did what I wanted to do. Unfortunately. They just kind of had enough answers. The Eldest Reborn was very, very rough. Um, having that Eldest Reborn for the Niv-Mizzet um, was, you know, like their one like really good answer there. Uh, that was... That was pretty cr like they they basically just had all the answers um you know like mortify mortify for the ram summit and then the eldest reborn for that niv um and then being able to get because then they got their teferi back um i played it really safe by killing their teferi maybe if i just attack them with the colossus that other turn but yeah the deck deck felt pretty good i mean it could have a little more against uh against control if you want i have like the three naturalizes because of like the wilderness reclamation decks but honestly that may be too many maybe you can go down on a naturalize there and have have a little bit more against control like maybe another niv or a nezahal or um a bane fire if you're a fan of bane fire that could be a card you can have instead of a naturalize um but you know, some, sometimes Esper gets you there. We we were three zero against Esper with Mono White Angels, which I didn't expect us to be that good against them. So it's fitting. Like this this time, they had all the cards they needed. So all right, so that's Teamer Gates. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.